Hi everyone. So I wanted to share with you a couple things that I purchased for my Project Life. Uh, some of it is uh, things that you've seen before, but there is something that I've discovered that I thought I would love to share with you and it may be helpful to some of you. So first of all, let's just go through um, some of the things that I've seen already on YouTube before, but um, I think Terry Berry has a bunch of these. They're sort of like washi tape, but it's glitter. And uh, I actually saw the whole package here in Canada at HomeSense, but uh, uh, I think it was $12.99, $14.99, but I didn't purchase it because I thought, oh, there's too many of them and I wouldn't use it. And um, anyhow, uh, my aunts are here from, from the Philippines and one from California, and they were, you know, I was taking them around to different places and we stopped at HomeSense, and I found... First of all, I found the teal one like this, and it's just a single one, and they had put it on for sale for um, 99 cents. And so I thought, oh, you know what? I, I didn't buy it last time, so let, let me buy this one. And for a buck, I thought that would be pretty good. So then <laughs> down the aisle more, I saw another one. And it, this one again, this is sort of the orange coral color, and this was 99 cents too. So I thought, okay, I'll take this these two and then I saw the pink and the gray but that was all that I saw and they were all a dollar so um, I thought I'd try it out and since I've tried it out I'm in love with washi tape now I know this isn't actual washi tape but I love this stuff so oh dear that could be dangerous <laughs> I've been so so good too so anyhow um, love those uh, the other thing that I wanted to share with you is um, these felt pens that I have, um, these are the Stedler's uh, Tri Plus Fine Liner. Now, I like these pens because they write so smooth and thin and they come in such an array of colors. And the other thing I love about it is the case. So the case, you, you saw it, it seals up like that, right? But it actually pulls apart here too and you fold how to do with one hand. You fold this down, oops, sorry, like that, and then what happens is it, it leans like this so that when you're working on stuff, you can just pull out the color you want. It's a great case. I absolutely love this case. And then when you're done, just pull it apart, you cover it up, and, and then what I love about it is it has this little hanging thing so I can hang it on my pegboard when I'm not using it. I love that. And then the most exciting part um, is what I discovered uh, yesterday. So I went to the dollar store because I was buying some office supplies for the store. And... Um, I found these instant self-laminating um, name cards. And what it is, I have an open package here. <clears throat> I think it's, this is like when you go to conventions and that uh, you get something that looks like this. And um, this here, there's six in a package. <coughs> here. And what happens is, if you open this up, there's the top piece, and then this piece here, if you peel it off, it's very sticky. So I've been able to use this on my Project Live, because what I do is I put the photo in here. I either do it two ways. Because this is the sticky part, and if I wanted to place a photo on, an additional photo on, like, on top of the uh, another uh, page protector. You can either have the photo smaller than this part of the sticky paper and it's see-through and then you, you use the back of this sort of acrylic sheet and you put it together like that and there's enough sticky leave enough sticky residue to basically stick it onto your sheet um, it becomes this I'll show you 
sorry, I don't even know if I described that that well, but it's another place to put another photo in it. It just goes on top of your um, the the your page protector. And if your photo, like this photo here, is small, I could have um, maybe just used the one sheet. But what, what I did on this one is I used the full sheet, this one here, and then I cut a strip of the sticky backing and I just peeled it and then I attached it to the edge right here and you can't even tell. And so it's just a nice um, place to put more photo on. And for six for a dollar, it's just a, a, a great little addition to um, another way of doing a layout for Project Life. So as you see, I've done that there. And then there were some layouts that I did um, in, the, sorry, in the previous week. This one here for my son. I did this layout in week uh, 19. But I love this photo of my son opening up his gift, which was the necklace, and um, I forgot to 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 use it because I I just remember that we had two cameras, and so um, I didn't see this photo when I was doing all the layouts. So I took this self laminating name card, and I just made the photo slightly smaller. I moved it to the edges possible to the edge as much as possible and I actually cut a strip of the sticky stuff and folded it over to secure the photo better and I and then I just there was still some leftover um, adhesive the clear adhesive because I, I put this part on top of the photo so the sticky part like basically went on the on top of the photo. So there was enough adhesive to just so that it would stick onto my layout. And it's a great oh and then what I did was I put another photo in the back. See it's and then it's just a uh, it just stays there. I, I'm not sure if you guys have this at your dollar store. I'm pretty sure you probably do, but I um I just thought I'd share this with you because you guys are all so creative. I'm sure that you'll you guys will find uh, even more um, creative way to use it in your project life layouts. But for six for a dollar, and I'm able to add more photos. Um, it's a great thing. I really like that. So uh, when I was at the office today, I picked up three more because. I love that and you know these things here like once you peel this off sorry I'm trying to show you here once you peel this off it's see-through but it's nice and thick it's not just like tape or anything it's see-through but it's very sticky I mean you could make tabs with this you could just there's just so many different things you can use this for so um, I'm actually hoping that uh, some of you guys will post or try it out and post a video and and let me know what sort of creative things that you can use these little self laminating name cards. So uh, that's all I have to share for um, the things that I love using. Oh, I, maybe one more thing here. So um, also I had found these. Like I, because I bought that tape, I found these the sticker set that had like owls and uh, here it is owls and it sort of looks like washi tape sort of and um, I, and I, I liked and I've used it as you see on my um, my layouts but the actual sticker is not very good quality they're not cut out very well so I have to use my scissors and cut them better but I like the design so anyhow that's that's all I wanted to share about the, some of the tools that I've used in my project life but um, let me show you week 21 so 
Again, I've basically just taken a background from my Adobe, Adobe uh, Elements and it's just this sort of orangey yellow background with like birds in the back there. I just put again the Carrie Bradford um, wording or lettering that I purchased from Jessica Spriggs and um, that's it very simple and then I think I just wrote May 21st to 27th with my uh, sharpie or my what well, some pen so okay this is Monday and Monday was a long weekend in Canada it was Victoria Day and so my aunt had a barbecue and I made pavlova actually I made two of these and um, they just went it went so quickly because um, my aunts are here visiting uh, one from the Philippines and one from California my parents went on a cruise and they all went together so um, four or five years ago they came here and I made this and they absolutely loved it so I made it again and I wanted to take a photo of it and then um, I did a big layout for um, Victoria Day because we had that barbecue but uh, I couldn't I wanted to do a big uh, print for like this photo because I I love my two aunts my mom actually has there's five girls in her family so there's two missing in here but uh, these ladies are such big influences in my life that it's I was so glad that I was able to do this layout uh, but uh, this is a Becky Higgins uh, page protector and it has another set that went up here. The problem was um, I wanted the the four sections here to be on the bottom and I wanted this um, photo to be in the top. So what I did was I actually cut the page protector right where... Um, the other four sections were like I kind of did it in half but the problem was that there was no holes to uh, to put this page protector into my binder so I just used my hole punch and I punched out the holes and it's worked out quite well so um, if you guys I mean if that's an idea that if you guys want a certain layout but the hole punches are not in the area you want you can hole punch it with your paper hole punch and it works so so I just put sorry it's kind of sideways I put mom sister this is a cardstock um, not a cardstock a chipboard uh, thing that I had in my stash so I just added an S for sisters and this is from the container store I just used it as a tag just some photos of us, all of us at the party. And then one of those mirrored um, embellishments that I got from Dollarama. And then on the back um, is a photo of my cousin who, uh, she is also visiting from the Philippines, but she's out from my dad's side. And I haven't been able to really get together with her because we've been so busy. So it was really lovely to be able to see her at the same party. So just um, sort of journaled about that and then the four sections here I just put uh, life and this these letterings are chipboard from I think it's soft-spoken and I just did that and same with them is that a pais paisley and then just it says party here and the paper is from the Clementine collection from Becky Higgins so that's that. That was Monday. Tuesday, I finally did all the filing that I was avoiding. And I brought it into the office. And there's Tuli, my dog, who's sleeping on her bed in the office there. So that was Tuesday. And uh, let's see here. Wednesday, we had an ortho appointment. And so I just took a picture of Jordan. I was sitting in the waiting area and I could see him and his feet. So I thought that was kind of a different shot. And then after the ortho appointment, he had a half day at school. So we went and got uh, Cold Stone's ice cream. 
But um, see these little, like the owl sticker, that came from that sticker set that I showed you. And same with the flowers and, and the bird. It just kind of makes it more, um, you know, more like messy and, and more like homemade. <laughs> Not so um, strict and I don't know what the word I'm looking for. But I, I, I like the look of it because it's just messy and random. So then Thursday, um, again, we ended up at my mom's place, um, or my brother's place for dinner. And my kids and I, like, I don't cook Filipino food because there's just, it's so hard because there's so much chopping and cutting and cooking. And so, you know, um, when my kids go to my relative's home, they end up sometimes not eating because it's not... They're not used to the food. They eat certain things, but some things they won't. And what my, what my mom had served that evening was like real heavy-duty Filipino food. So um, my daughter, when we came home, she's like, can we go to McDonald's? So this was a photo of her driving um, through the drive through for the first time. She, I mean, she's got her learners now. So she drove through the drive drive through herself. I mean, I was in the car, but she was driving. And I don't know if you can see it, but the guy <laughs> serving my daughter is kind of looking at me because I'm my camera, and I was like, smile. <laughs> and so he did. <laughs> and so that's why I put smile. So that was Thursday. And then Friday was a really tough, stressful day um, in the office, just in life general. <laughs> so um, my son was at the movies with his friends and my daughter was at dance. So it was just my husband and I. And my husband was like, do you want to go for a drink? And we ended up um, at my, that restaurant that I go for this beer because I love this beer. It like, tastes like wine and beer mixed together. It's some sort of German beer. Anyways, so I, I took a photo of that. And that, that was a much needed drink that day. <laughs> and then... Um, Saturday, we were uh, at a, in a town that's like an hour and a half, two hours a, away from where we live because my son had a flag football tournament. So that's just a photo of him um, while he was playing. And, you know, ironically, the next day, um, my daughter um, had a dance competition in the same town. I mean... My goodness, how does, you know, it, such a far place and we had to be there in two separate days. And then, um, so this was a dance competition and this was just on the on their website and I just printed it on photo paper and I put it with that, um, I laminated it and adhered it with that self-laminating sheet that I just showed you in the beginning of the video. And then I just put one of those stickers in the back there. And then um, this was her waiting because we had to wait we the the one dance was at one and then the other dance was like at six or seven so we waited in that town for such a long time and you know you, there's no point in going home because you'd have to drive back and it would have taken so long so we just waited but um i had a sticker that i think nancy um miss nancoon hi nancy um it was part of this uh, stickers that she gave me, I believe. So it says, Dancing is in my heart. So uh, that was that. And then um, that was Sunday. So that's week, sorry, that was week 21. Just a simple layout. I'm still loving Project Life. It's easy. It really is. It looks a lot harder than it is, but it's easy. And See, these look like washi tape, but it's really that sticker set that um, I bought. I don't recommend it because the it's not cut out properly, so you can't just peel and stick. You actually have to peel, cut, and then stick. But it was like a box, so. And I like the, the look of it. So this was project, oh, sorry, week 21. I have, I'm missing one. Uh, layout but because my Photoshop element the trial version has expired I have to wait till my husband downloads the Photoshop for me 
But um, <clears throat> my husband was asked to coach my son's soccer team, and it was the first day they did a, a tournament on Friday. So it was the first day that he's coached in a very long time. So um, we have some photos of that, and I want to put it in this week. So apart from that, everything else is done. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you was I saw this on someone's video where this came with the um, with the Becky Higgins um, core kit. It's the cobalt one. I don't know if this comes in every one, but so what I saw a lady on YouTube do was she wrote down like what happened on the days of the week. <coughs> Sorry. So that's what I've done here. And then anything really, really special I put up on the top. And then I just put another sticker and some of that glitter washi tape. And I've, you know, I've done, I've, I really like this glitter washi tape. I'm going to have to, um, I don't know. I just, I, I love washi tape now. It's just cool. Obviously, you know I do because the stickers sort of look like it. Just makes it look a little bit more colorful and fun. So, so yeah, that was week 21, and I'm working on week 22. I'm really um, liking that week. I've I've been a little bit more creative, and um, I'm really enjoying this. So, thank you, you guys. Uh, try to find these these um, instant self laminating. Name cards. They're great for adding photos to your project life. Okay, take care. Bye.